Thank you. February 1st, Finance Committee. Minutes we have as with the other. First of all, did anybody have? Yeah. If you don't want to move that we approve favor. <coughs> Off again. Need to add about to currently net to be Monday and the art. Recommend to require the department two articles. Understand? He's shaking her head. Yeah. Make them twenty. You upcoming meeting middle school. Deliberative stay. Eight. At six thirty. Meeting for. Deliberative time. You know, time. Six thirty slash. On Friday, John Stark, Stark deliberative. I'm not sure if you said. thing round out your week there's up to uh, present what you know, uh, so that Tuesday Meetings, Tom? So, no, in that back. 
meeting room. Costs. Something to do with pricing. Main thing. Oh, it's last. But it would be. We have an updated town warrant. We had a copy that was sent to us by Bill, and we have the official one here before us tonight. Now, before you move into that, do you anticipate us meeting again after the town deliberative session? Yeah, we actually, don't have yeah. another meeting yet. Scheduled. Yeah, actually, that was further down my list, but that's what I, I would suggest. Instead of coming back for another meeting and try to fit it in next week sometime, if we just uh, the, the policy has been that things stay the same unless there are changes made to the article. So if there are changes made to the article, then uh, I would uh, suggest that we just wait at the end of the meeting and see if we want to change anything with our uh, <coughs> language or recommendations. So stay after the session on the 4th. Yes, I mean, it's listed as a meeting anyways for us right. on the master schedule. So. Um, we're just saying, Tom, that if there, there are changes at the deliberative session, that perhaps we could meet right after the meeting rather than trying to get another meeting in next week, which is pretty busy. Yeah. And we could we could vote, re-vote on an article if there's a change to it, right? Right. That's it's fundamentally different. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, I had for the updated town warrant. Uh, I got one. I, I got one earlier. I, I, I swung through. I just wanted to get the numbers on the warrants. Article 7, the, uh, the uh, union, non-union raises, we did not, uh, at least on the copy that Bill sent, there wasn't a uh, right. Yeah, number. we hadn't voted on that one. We yet. hadn't voted on it. Because it's luck and heavy. Right. It's luck and heavy voted on it. Right. They wanted me to pull together the wages for at least the BPW. So I pulled together the wages that I had available to me through the Municipal Association survey. And in looking at the averages, we aren't that far behind. I'm not sure why we can't get any help. So we are so far behind. No, we're not. We're within the highs and the lows. You know, hmm. so I'm not sure. So they uh, opted to not do anything with that, but still going to do. There's other departments. I only did one, but there's other departments that they're probably going to make there, and then shift the. The whole pool is going to be with, I mean, I did my evaluations, but I, I got them done Monday. They're supposed to be done by February 1st, and they're supposed to take those into account. So, but they didn't change the dollar amount. They're going to work within that pool. The, the bottom line amount of the article. What Naomi just said was that our current salaries are within the range of just the, the ones. So that, yeah, the wage study done at the municipal association. Okay. Only fourteen towns did it, but it was fourteen towns between five thousand and ten thousand people. Okay. And the non-union covers obviously library. Um, yeah. Does it cover the DPW? No. Yeah. And 
some of the fire department. Uh, all of them. All of them? Yeah, None of them are? Okay. They're not enough of them. Okay. okay. And the police admin? It would be the police chief, the police admin, everybody else is under CBA, right. and then um, parks and rec, fire, DPW, library. And here. Oh, on this building. No, yeah. the, the study at municipal, it, it, it took all of these roles in, into consideration? I was only asked to do the DPW one, so I did the truck driver and the highway equipment because I was just trying to see how far we are off. Um, not everybody has staffing at libraries like we do. Um, I think the library one, in my opinion, is very low. They're about $12 an hour. Does the municipal association still do a yearly uh, yeah, I did, wage? Yeah, I did my part, but not every town does. Yeah, I know. Uh, last it's time. It's a volunteer thing. Oh. So you've got, you know, a lot of communities that I'd like to get information on is not there, other than calling or emailing them. And they're coming back to you. Another question. Um, so is this a this is a pool situation where this yeah. money would go to the pool and then based on merit and pay scale combination? I, that's what is my understanding. Because there's nothing in here. I mean, I, this, that's, that's just... That you have should, to get a number somewhere, so we based yeah. it on 5% of those departments. So it's a 5% basis. That's where we had to come up with a number, because if I come up with an even number, they're going to say, what are you going to do? And I just say, well, right. I just pulled it out of the air. Okay. You know. But that thing. doesn't mean that every person in yeah. that pool is going to get a 5% it's, raise. It's, a, it's if you gave everybody a 5% raise, this is the number we would That's need. That's right. So you. it's, it's, for, yes. it's yes. for everybody. Like every, it's, yeah, except for me. Right, right. Right. Everybody who's in the in that pool. Yes. Right. Your, those, your contract those different separately. people are in there, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what I wanted to know was what we yes. equate to if everybody got an equal share. Yeah, because I said you had to come up with something. I can say, well, we'll throw $100,000 at it. <laughs> you would have been really close. I would have been close, but I'd like yeah. to have yeah. that be, mean something. I don't remember. Did we did we do non-union raises recently? Last two years, for sure. Last couple of years. Last two years, right? <coughs> uh, pretty much every yeah. year. Yeah. It's, it's a separate article. Usually, it, it's, it's, it's been... It's ranged from 3%, 3 to 5 One you know, year, they went less. I think the cause. Yeah, it was two one year. Yeah. 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 Well, there's been. I, I think this is a better way this year. There's been comments to that effect at the regular board meetings as well of uh, people who are leaving because they were leaving for more money someplace else. Well, well, what I like about it is that um, it's not a straight across the board percentage. <laughs> and other years we've had the, I call it the onesies and twosies effect. You know, you get the standard and then somebody says, you know, we, we really can't hire here. So you get another Warren article that says, how about another, per, another dollar an hour for here and one for here? And then it's the squeaky wheel that gets, gets oiled. And I, think, I think you want to stick to one article. And then this is an, this is this is to answer those to prevent multiple articles by saying we're going to look at wage grades across the board and how that particular skill what they should be paid at the municipal level, and then we get into these merit based as we move along, which is fine. The problem sometimes with merit based is everybody gets a everybody gets a trophy. Uh, hopefully the <laughs> hopefully the <laughs> there is some scrutiny there so that you can make decisions that, that don't result in across the board. Yeah. So. It has to be done so that it's significant. I'll give you an example, personal example. I worked for the Fall Mountain School District, and they were doing merit by a dollar amount, 100 to 300. That's a real incentive. Yeah. To, I work harder, I might get two hundred dollars rather than one hundred for the year. But maybe two hundred is only mediocre, so I have to be a superstar in order to get the three hundred for the year. I left the district. <laughs> <laughs> no, I because yeah. 
you know, that really wasn't merit pay. It was just monkeying around with something that all came out the same in the long run. $100 a year difference. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, I, that's what I mean by it, it has to be significant enough to be worthwhile for the person to put in extra effort for it. Uh, the other side of it is if the person is really lagging behind, do we want to keep that employee anyways? Correct. You know. Instead of giving everybody a raise carte blanche. Yep, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> Who makes the decision on these? Is it the, the, did the Board of Selectmen have ultimate thumbs up or down on the decision? So it's okay. It's not. So where uh, department heads do theirs, I did for my building, department heads do theirs, and then the board's supposed to take it from there. Um, fire department, uh, if we have a four to fire wards still, would they be the oversight for the fire raises? I think the chief, because the chief, <coughs> the fire wards appoint the chief, the chief appoints the employees. Yeah, so the board of selectmen wouldn't have oversight on the fire department no. once, but the everything else. Right and everybody else. The library would be the library trustees. We would probably have some input, especially if they're a little lower, but that's the trustees' determination. Police chief is. Board of Selectmen, DPW. Yeah. We've got the discussion before the motion again, but we'll live with it. Uh, would somebody like to make a motion on Article 7? Uh, I'll make a motion that we adopt Article 7, recommend Article 7 on the warrant. Second. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I was, uh, I was writing at the same time, but I just, uh, I don't know if you noticed in the, in the spreadsheet that I did, I passed out uh, our recommend, I have call, I have groupings for our recommendations so far what the tax impact would be dollar wise uh, with John Stark passing or John Stark failing. So there's a range there and we're in the, for $350,000 house, we're in the 605 to 650 range as far as our recommendations impact. So um, that's, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that to me because I wasn't even thinking about that. But it makes sense to, you know, what's what's the impact of our vote so far as far as keeping the big picture in mind. So mm -hmm. just felt like I want to mention that. Okay. All those in favor of recommending uh, uh, Article 7? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us here tonight? Seven. Seven. Okay. Seven, seven zero. zero. Obviously, there's no opposed. We all voted. <laughs> for reference, I, uh, I put the eight cents in the calculation already. Mm -hmm. Worst case, right. so right. the numbers don't change. All right. right? That's right. Okay. Finance Committee report. We take a look at what Bill sent out to us. Can I ask a question about the warrant before, right. before we go into the yeah. detail on this? Right. Sure. Um, there's a and it. It may influence what we do next, I'm not sure. But Article 20 was a last minute change to the warrant on Monday. And it basically to disband the Board of Fire Awards. Originally, the article was to take the fire department members off the board and replace them with resident, non, you know, non member, um, non member board members. Um, and this article that passes with revert control to the Board of Selectmen. It, it seems like there's an indirect financial cause in effect there. I'm not sure if that's something that we would take a, an action on or not, but it's changing who does the budget for the fire department if it passes. Right now, the fire department puts their budget together, approved by the selectmen, I believe, and CIP. But now, 
the selectmen be responsible for the budget? Does that come into play at all with us? Well, the Board of Fire Awards don't receive uh, uh, salary, I don't believe, of any kind, do they, or a stipend? Well, it's not about the board as much as it is who does the budget, um, who oversees the, the finances. So. We do now. I mean, they get together and sign the manifest, but we cut all the checks out of here and the treasurer signs it. But they do their own budget work? They do their own budget, but they still present it to the board. And we reduce their budget. As the fuel got reduced, we reduced it to okay. the board. So the board of selectmen still have final authority on the fire department budget then? Like, just like the police? Well, at, at the moment, the Board of Fire Awards, but we felt if fuel was going to be across the board fair, we did make that decrease in that. Technically, they didn't have to agree to that? They didn't have to, no. They still have autonomy to some degree right now, would you say? Yes. And that would, that would change. I, I just didn't know if that's... Yes. I, don't, I don't know that it's going to have... Um, you know, all they wanted to do is regain it so that it's the same for... DW police and everybody else is the hiring and taking care of all the employment stuff would be here, the budget stuff would be here. They'd still do what the DPW did and put together their proposed budget, but it would come before the board. And it's part of the whole package anyway. It's just we don't really, they present it to us and they have to say. This wouldn't shift the financial ground at all. It's just more yeah. of a who develops who develops and, yeah. final, and right. still finalized by the. Well, who, who actually finalizes it would change, but... The chief's going to have more responsibility than the fire wards. Because yeah. the fire wards are gone. The chief yeah. right now puts together the budget, but the fire wards approve it. Right. Okay. So it's really not... It's just like a... Uh, it's going to be a year. If it if it passes, it takes effect a year. They have a year to yeah. put all the things in place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if there was any what, what, shake up in the finances. What, what was the driving reason to do this? Mentioned. Derek, may I? Yeah. I was there, but I mean, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm on mic here, so. Uh, and she should be, but. <laughs> you can hear me, though. Yeah. If you listen to the YouTube, you can hear me from the back of the room. Yeah. Can you? I'm loud enough. Okay. Yeah. Then it's better for you to answer. For me to answer? If, yeah, okay. he was thinking you wouldn't be heard. That's why. He yeah, I was thinking you wouldn't be heard. Uh, well, the understanding came about for some of the things that have been going on. As you know, four out of the seven are employees, um, and there's been there's been some. If you've watched the YouTube, there's been some discussion amongst them and some dissensions, um, and there's been discussion about disbanding or changing the makeup. Um, the what was discussed was changing the makeup, but Monday night at six o'clock, that I said in on their meeting and. Um, they felt that if you were going to change the makeup of it, why don't we just disband? So that was a motion to write the new article. They wanted to disband. It was four to one to disband. So the article was changed and then came to us at 6.30. So we took their recommendation and left it. And as you can see, I forgot to even add the recommendation by the, by by the selectmen um, because it, it was, but I didn't add it, so it would have to be added to me. It was amongst themselves. You'd have to really go back if you really wanted to look at some of their last live meetings. Um, you know, they, they're you know the acting chief. We don't have a chief. Things have been getting, you know. So it was almost time we've got a new chief that we're running an advertisement for. So, hmm. but it was their motion to change it to disband because he did bring the article to them. Mm -hmm. And that was their motion, four to one. Is that a full board? No, uh, but the acting chief was not there, and Leo was not there. There's mm, yeah. seven. 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 It's six. It's three elected that are members of the board, three that are members of the general public, and the chief. Yeah. Seven. Any other questions on that? Are there any other articles that we have to go back to, not necessarily change their vote, but because we didn't have enough information? I think we're all set on the others.
Have people had a chance to review uh, the uh, Finance Committee report that Bill sent out today or yesterday? I, I, I kind of prematurely sent out that. The, 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 the last thing I sent out was like the boilerplate that gets put in the mailer. That's not critical <clears throat> right now. I haven't reviewed that. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's just uh, something that as we move forward, that wouldn't have to be put out until we put the mailer out. But I wanted to get a head start on it um, because it shows some of the things that you said when you said 600 or you started looking at overall numbers. Mm -hmm. Because it, it'll say, if we get historical returns to offset, what that might fall into too, which is which is what we did last year. So I don't think that's that's real critical tonight, other than uh, uh, putting the high beams on to say, after we get done with the deliberatives, is this kind of where we want to go from? Yeah. But where the warrant, the town warrant. I want to make sure that people are clear on this because Naomi's got to have that to distribute. Yeah, we, we'll go back to that in a minute. Okay. But we will, uh, we, we probably won't be meeting again, I don't believe, before the mail. Yeah, so we if, might, we might not, but if, even if we don't, we can, we've got this out there to everybody that haven't had a chance to, yeah. to look it just, at it Yeah, we really have to make a decision on it as a group, not through email. Oh. Because, no. uh, you know, that's a no-no. Yeah, well, it's still premature to put this out because we don't know if anything's going to happen at Deliberative anyway. That's true. You know? So. You, you sent three today. Were those just updates to the three that you sent? I sent, I sent out the, um, yes, I sent out, Sunday night I sent out the town and I threw the, the schools in there as well, which we had sent out before. That was the first pass at sending the town, town suggested comments out. And then I did get some comments back from Janice Okay, so which I incorporated most of them in and um, I tried to highlight those uh, in bold print so that uh, and I think I sent those back out with the yeah with that on there. yeah I didn't read them because yeah. I knew what yeah. I told you right <laughs> or right asked for. so well, I think we could approve the format and then if the numbers change uh, it's we can give you a go ahead at our meeting at the end. Oh, you're talking. You're talking this one now again. The the, the cover. Yeah. Sheet. Oh, okay. You're talking the cover. The cover. Well, I haven't had time to review yeah. it, so yeah. oh, okay. I didn't know that was on the uh, docket for this evening. Well, I put it on the docket after I got yeah, it. In there. Yeah. See what I caused by trying well, to get ahead of the game. <laughs> well, on that before I showed up today, I would have I, just made a point to review it. Well, I said, I hey, I got, I'm at the computer now. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bang something out here, yeah. and at least no, you get a start. That. Yeah. yeah, and, and I, a, a I think that's a, you know, there's a lot of work, a lot of thought went into that to get all aspects on paper. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then the follow-up, the I like the way it is set up here, it's easier to understand. Uh, no offense, Tom, but the... No, no, it's... The, for the others are, you know, they're small and... Oh, yeah, that's just yeah. our working copy. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's further comp that, that even that it's further complicated because we had the four four votes, so they have to kind of put note one and note two to say yeah. you know, if what if what if. But I, I tried to make it so it was easily understandable. I can't remember that ever happening. The four four vote. I, I, this think, is my I think fifth James year. said we've had a, we've had a tie vote before. I think, I think we had. Yeah, it didn't didn't happen often, but a couple of years ago we had a. Did it? I, I can't remember that. We had a split decision. So we'll be discussing the town warrant uh, write-ups next. That's that right. Goes? That's where yeah. yeah, that's yeah. where we need to go. Yeah. Uh, I, I noticed that we don't have the percentage increase from uh, of the budget in there. That's seven point five two. Is that relevant? Uh, well, can I comment on it? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I think when you uh, put a percentage in like that. Uh, I'm just going to be blunt. I think it. People say it scares people, and they say that's too much, right. and they vote no. Yeah. Uh, if we hadn't gone three years in a row with a default budget, it probably wouldn't be seven point five no. or seven point seven. Yeah. And if we don't get an approved budget, and next year it'll be even higher because the gap will keep yeah. keep getting more. Mm -hmm. So 
right. what I tried to do was hit a, um, rather than throwing a percentage there, is to tell people, if you've got a $350,000 property, the difference between last year and this year bangs out to be 150. No, I'm sorry, the difference between the proposed and the default budget, which you have a choice when you, when you vote, right. that difference is, is 150 bucks. And I thought that that was, rather than throwing, some areas I like to throw percentages, but on that one I said, I tried to say, we got a growing gap, we got public works where, where you're looking at a $300,000 difference between the proposed and the default, and that's growing. And well, that percentage to is get really over across a number of years, technically. Num yeah, right. exactly. Oh, it's a, it's a exactly, but to try and explain that when you throw, when they see that number, yeah. It isn't to me. It isn't worth <coughs> explaining. If you just tell them, it's, "Hey, proposed versus default is 150 bucks to get it's a weird situation. to get the ship righted." Yeah. No, I, I hear you. Yeah. So, I, I didn't. That's why I didn't do that there. Okay. So we okay on uh, Article Five with the wording now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what was I going to say? Correct yourself. No, no, okay. no. <laughs> It, this got brought up when I when I <laughs> I used a Dutch boy analogy in there. Does everybody know who the Dutch boy is? Yeah, yeah, yeah the little guy. And, but she did. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that? It's hands, hands, hands. The silver skates, Hans Brinker and the silver skates. Yeah. Yeah, the Dutch boy sticks his finger in a dike. I said, Naomi, you, you haven't heard of that? I said, I'll pull it out if people. You can use it because I might be the minority. Can we remove it? Because that was, you know, my thought is to kind of keep it more linear and um, to like the data and the facts versus using metaphors that can kind of lose sight of the context of what we're looking. At. I don't. I don't, saying, I don't do that very often, but I thought it was appropriate this year, just a, a little. I did, I, did, <laughs> I did find it amusing. Yeah. It, it does describe the situation. Like, yeah. yeah. You plug in the. Yeah, I was going to I was going to buy I, I had planned to buy XYZ but I don't have enough fuel in the truck so finger in the dike finger over here. <laughs> yeah. Of course there might be those who uh, think you're talking about thick paint. That's what I that's all I could think oh, of when you paint? said Dutch boy I was a painter. Ah. I couldn't understand. It. Well, I can add uh, to this. To me it's an hands, apple hands, pancake. Hands. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dutch boy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of paint. I couldn't put the analogy. Yeah. In my neck. I don't know. Wouldn't caulking work better? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robbie I think we're in consensus. We, we would like well, the just, metaphor. You just took out Dutch boy. It still works. Like b managing the budgets, like plugging the dike for the greatest <laughs> need exists. Yeah, but that was that was completely out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whack a mole. <laughs> whack a mole. That's a, that's one. Everybody knows whack a mole. Maybe that maybe that works, Bill. I don't know. <laughs> Anyone else want to comment on the Dutch boy? <laughs> well, I think there's been enough discussion that we should entertain taking it out. Okay. Sorry, Bill. You want it out? Oh, <laughs> I think we gee. do. That was my one there's one. one yeah, my one piece of humor in here. Okay, so well, it's but still it, yours, but it just can't be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of putting whack-a-mole in instead. Yeah. I think that'd be a better analogy. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Department's managing yeah. budgets like. So, we, what do we want to have there? Department heads each additional year with the default budget expands the gap and has department heads managing their budgets. What, what if we just stop at expands the gap? Oh. Okay, each additional year with a default budget expands the gap. On an ad hoc basis? That's kind of what whack-a-mole is. <laughs> so <laughs> ad hoc. Oh, my. I mean, that, you, could, you could keep that line in there and then change it to ad hoc, you know, uh, something like that. So I don't know. Managing their budgets on an ad hoc basis? Is that what you would That doesn't it? sound good. No. Inefficiently? What was it? Inefficiently. Well, it's a matter of making difficult choices. And the department said have to make difficult choices applying resources where the greatest need exists, limited resources, or something like that, regardless of budget planning. Or what to do without. Shift, shuffle. Department heads managing their budgets by shuffling resources to where the greatest need exists, regardless of planning. 
boy, I'm back to Dutch boy. Get back to where you started from sometimes. So, so uh, department heads manage your bu their budgets by shuffling, shuffling um, resources where the greatest need exists. But we, we've budget. said that in a prior sentence because you're moving funds kind of for less critical thing, expenditures. Right? I don't know if that's understandable to everyone either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if nothing else, this is, shows why we do not start these from scratch as a group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we'd never get it done. You can, you can just probably end it at expands the gap, and it still works reading through it. Yep. Making it more difficult for department heads to manage. But I just, I just, I'll just put a period after gap. How's that? Period after what, Bill? Yeah. Each additional year with default with a default budget expands the gap because we've been talking about. Short up, short reallocating funds, unfilled positions, other plan less critically. Each default budget expands the gap um, between, well, expands the gap between the proposed and default budgets. Yeah, that's good. How's that? Great. Okay, moving on. I thought I could get that one through too. <laughs> A little creativity and yeah, yeah. Collective bargaining unit. Does anybody uh, are you okay with that? Now I had on one of the drafts a little change. But too many drafts. Mm. I'm not talking about beer here either. <laughs> yeah. You might want to be before the, <laughs> yeah. the end of the evening. I would just uh, fourth line up. Where it says training begins with training. I would just add the word costs. Investment in time and training. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Just a second. Oh Let's, yeah, I see training now. Okay, hiring new officers. Just a second. Considerable investment in time and training. Costs. Yeah. Time and training costs. Well. It is the training too, but it's it's from the point of view of the article. It's it was an art. Uh, what they say something like seventy thousand uh, dollars in costs. What they're talking about is paying the person they've hired before he's a certified officer. Yeah, yeah. Paying. Uh, we don't pay for the training that they go through, but we pay for, we pay for the we're paying a salary we're paying while, the, he'll, paying while the salary he's not working on the street. Start working as an official officer, and also for 13 weeks he rides with another officer for field training, right. and right. that person gets a stipend uh, for being a field training officer. And then there's also a, a cost for outfitting because uh, they come in different sizes, so <laughs> you need a, uh, the first outfitting is part of the cost of hiring the officer, uniform and equipment that's personal to that officer. Uh, after that, there's a, there's a uh, uniform allowance, but that doesn't pick up for the person who just when he walks in the door. So it's an additional cost there. Well, that's a great consumer investment. I just, uh, how, about, how about hiring new officers requires considerable investment and cost in time? Uh, hires. Hiring new officers requires considerable investment in cost, time, and training. Oh, co 
Hiring new officers requires investment okay. in time, <clears throat> investment in training time, or something like that, and considerable cost to the town, estimated at $70,000 per new hire. That is what they said, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard him say that twice. Okay. Yeah, and I've heard it before, other years from different people. So read that sentence again. Hiring new officers requires investment in training time and training costs estimated at $70,000 per Ooh, new lost, yeah, I got lost there. Hiring, okay, I can take out the word considerable because we're, we're quantifying it. Right. So hiring new officers requires in investment. In training time. In. What if, uh, what if uh, investment in time, training, and equipment at an estimated cost. At an estimated of. cost of. Mm -hmm. That's much better. Time, uh, training, and equipment, which I didn't have in there before. Estimated at seventy thousand per hire. Per new hire. Or per hire. Per um, new uncertified hire. They got to go to because not everybody has mm -hmm. to go unless they're. Uh, yes, or you up to seventy thousand dollars. Okay, yeah. up to seven. Yeah, up to approximately. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Maybe when hiring a new recruit rather than serve. Yeah, because that's what you're talking about. Yeah, know, fresh off the per new recruit, just leave it at seventy k per new recruit. How does that? You know? Okay. Yeah. Did you have investments with an S or just not? Invest investment with a investments. In time um, and everything, this is more than one investment. Hiring new officers requires investments. I, I probably. What do you think? You want an S on the end? I'll yes. put it. Hey, wh whatever you say. Yes. S. Okay. Investments in time, training, and equipment at estimated estimated to be seventy thousand dollars per new recruit. Okay. Don't get too complicated. I have to read these. <laughs> That's right, you do. Yeah. <laughs> we can get you up there, and you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> draw a blank because I'm gonna leave you in the middle of a sentence. I thought we put an S on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the, uh, the the next sentence in that. Once the individual is ready for service, or one. It, it's imperative we do all we contain the individuals. I guess we'll leave it there, and I would I would delete some of the next sentence in that and, and combine them, saying it's imperative we do all we can to retain these individuals by staying competitive. Okay, what, yeah. Why not? You want me to just take out the once ready for service? Well, if you guess, if, I would remove the best way for us to do that is is attempt to stay. Okay. Uh, and just put in, out. you know, just combine the two sentences. Okay. One. We're going to retain these individuals, insert the words, by staying competitive with salaries, okay, benefits. Uh, okay. So even if I had once ready for service in pair, we do all we can to retain these individuals by staying competitive. With salaries, with benefits. salary benefits that are comparable to similar sized communities. I would, I would just stop that one at salaries and benefits because your next line says similar sized communities. Okay. Benefits. Okay. So that will read: hiring new offices requires investments <laughs> in time, training, and equipment, estimated. Uh, at seventy thousand dollars per new recruit. Uh, once ready for service, it is imperative we do all we can to retain these individuals by staying competitive with salary and benefits. Even with an eight percent increase, our salary structure will still be, be below some size, similar size communities. Okay, got it. Oh, we just voted on the uh, 
non-union, Article 7 uh, raises. Are we okay with that uh, verbiage? Just remove an extra comma from the last sentence, the town comma. The town, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can read these too if you want. If you want them read into the record to see how you, you'll sound when you read them, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll practice in front of a mirror so I have the right facial expressions too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Try speaking with an English accent too. You'll sound more professional. I try that. I'll sound like Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Australian. Okay, fire department radio pagers. Now, before we move on, um, Article 7, the third line, um, hiring selected positions for employees. Which line? We're, we're targeting the positions to fill with employees. We're not selecting, employee, not selecting employees. Um, third line. The committee supports moving away from the standard across the board percentage pay raise. In recent years, Ware has had difficulty hiring selected employees. I believe we're trying to say selected positions. Yeah. Well, just take out the selected. Employees. Just hiring employees. Yeah. Hiring employees. Okay. Because yeah. yep. it, it could be interpreted in different ways. You mean selecting, but it could be as these are select people. Right. Or, we'll take that out. Yeah, I'll take the word selected mm -hmm. out. And then across the board and the two, two, two lines down should also be hyphenated. Okay. I don't know why and is capitalized there either. I must have hit the caps letter. I can take that selected employees in the last line. We don't like that word selected. Raises for. Um, some, just put some, not selected. Okay, this led to multiple Warren articles the past few years requesting across the board with the hyphens raises and added raises for so, some employees. Yeah, that's right. Get the comma after town removed. Can we, can we move to the fire truck? We uh, I think we're radio pages, aren't we? Oh, okay. After after the word year, we got an extra space. Just yep. Yeah, I got a space between the R and the year and the period. Yep. Okay. You good on that? The Fine. fund has an estimated 543K available and took in 185K last year. Will people understand that that's revenue? That money received in, took in for services, right? I said that in the previous sentence. Uh, the fund is supplemented each year from ambulance reimbursements. I've implied that 185 comes from supplements. Okay, each year from ambulance reimbursements, um, which were 185k last year. Now is. Uh, the, does a 543 include the 185 from last year? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we could say the fund has an estimated 443K, including uh, 150K taken in last year. Yeah, you should say including there, I think. What am I, what am I saying here? Um, Fund is supplemented by blah, 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 and reimbursements. The fund has an estimated 543k, 
which includes 185,000 taken in last year or okay. received last year. I don't know. Or you could you could almost switch that around. I think it might make it a little bit easier saying that the fund the uh, the the revenue the revenue uh, received uh, last year was 185,000 bringing uh, the fund bringing, you, know, you know leaving the the fund at a current total of that does be better. 580. Okay, revenue received first. last year was 185k. Bringing the fund up to 543k. Up to a, up to a current. Yeah. Bring the bringing the funds <coughs> current balance up to 543,000. Okay. Yep. Okay. Got it. I took that sentence out that the fund has an estimated 540 and substituted the revenue received last year was 185,000, bringing the fund's current va uh, balance up to 543,000. Okay, now we move on to the utility truck. Um, the 15K expenditure for pagers will have minimal impact on the fund balance and is an appropriate use of the fund to minimize this year's tax impact. Because somebody could think that's minimal impact on taxes. Right. It's minimal impact on the fund balance. Pages will have a minimal, minimal impact mm -hmm. on, this, on this fund. On the fund balance, uh, I don't even know if you need that last sentence. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take it right out, maybe. So the fifteen thousand dollar expenditure for the pages will have minimal impact on this fund. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Are we all set to go to Article Nine? Yes. Any Why is that bolded? Uh, Janice had a good point. She, because uh, when they were briefing us on that, they, they talked about one of the benefits of that uh, piece of equipment is when the when it's the weather's adverse, it can help access uh, the fire, an emergency situation. Fire, fire and uh, ambulance yeah. can't go through right. snow as good as this can, so it paves the way for them to go through. That's what I figured, but we're not bolding on any other article. Oh, no, no I'm, not, not I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to leave. That was for the benefit of tonight. Oh. So people would see that it was a change. It's a change. Okay, yep. you're not, yep. it's not yep. a change. I'm not going to, no, when I, when I do this tomorrow and I okay. fire it to Naomi, it'll be. All right. Yeah, I, I agree with the wording. I, I just didn't, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. I wasn't, I wasn't too sure if saying, you know, it can provide advanced clearance was clear enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I I agree. It would be too just to be specific clearing the road. I don't know if there was the exact words, but that's what you mean by that. Uh, where can I clear the road Provide. for a safer passage of larger where equipment? Can, um, I had originally wrote, I don't know what it says now, and provide advanced safety clearance and provide advanced clearance for safe passage of larger equipment in inclement weather. That's what I that's what I wrote. Yeah. yeah so that's what it says. I'll let I'll let I'll let you guys look at the question, right? How about advanced passage safety clearance oh, no. for passage of larger just move the word safe. Wait, we're talking about plowing the snow all the way, right? It could be also down trees, yeah. other things. Other it could things be a rut in the yeah. road, or I mean, it could be a lot of things. How about just where it can provide safe clearance of larger equipment in inclement weather? It can remove obstacles. Yeah, <laughs> get a winch and probably. Yeah, I would just I would move the word safe to before clearance and leave everything else. See how that reads personally. Definitely important important in incidents occurring on private restricted road park areas where it can provide advanced safe clearance for passage of larger vehicles in inclement weather. 
one possibility. Yeah, I think by putting safe before the clearance, it clarifies it better. Advanced clearance could mean a, you truck, know, you know something you could, could think truck clearance, but could mean giving the okay. What if we just took out advanced clearance for? Incidents occurring on private restricted roads and park areas where it can provide safe passage or safe clearance of larger equipment in inclement weather. Yeah, I just don't want it to sound like the only thing it's going to do that on are public or private roads and public parks. Because if I had nine inches of snow on my driveway and a sheet of ice on top of that, even though my, my driveway's, you know, 300 feet long or less, they would still need that truck to get up my driveway if it were an ambulance call. <coughs> You say it's especially important in incidents where safe passage for larger equipment in inclement weather uh, is not possible or requires. Because this, anybody can call, have a fire or an ambulance in town and need that service. Right. You could have, yep. yeah. you could have an icy driveway. Yeah. Or snowy. Snowy. So the Senate should read. <laughs> you just critique you got figured out. No, no. That's why I, that's, that's why no, we're here. Huh? That's why I do this because because if we were starting from scratch, we yeah, we never get there. Night, we yeah. would never get there. What did what did you just say, Tom? Uh, it's especially important in incidents where advanced clearance for safe passage with larger equipment is necessary. I think advanced is a good word in there, but it is especially important in incidents, forget about occurring on private restricted and park area, it is especially important in incidents where advanced clearance for safe passage of larger vehicles in employment weather is required. Keyword advanced. Okay, I got where advanced clearance. Go ahead. Or safe passage of larger equipment is required in inclement weather. Sounds good to me. So it reads. The right there. Oh, okay. So it. So that sentence is going to be especially important in incidents where advanced clearance for safe passage is required in inclement weather. Period. That's what I got right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need a period at the end of the paragraph. He got, he got okay. that. He got that. <laughs> so this is the last article, I think, where the fire department special reserve fund is being tapped because we may not have sufficient balance after this. Like it, the sufficient balance argument goes down a little you bit. Express concern using special reserve consideration. You said it twice, and you've taken two things out. So is there, there's nothing else, though, right? Yeah, there's nothing else taken this tap like in this fund. 110,000 for this, something like that. Yeah, 105, I think it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that 543 just got depleted by 15. And, and now 105. Yeah. So it's 120. 120. So it's down. So it'll be down to four. Well, we're working on another 185 potentially so, for this year. So yeah. Yeah. My only point was uh, I don't think we can make that make that claim anymore I mean the warrant after this but right. I don't think we I don't think we run into it there's no more fire spending mm -mm. Anything no there isn't against that fund
Police cruiser. Need a period after Tahoe's. Pardon me? Period after Tahoe's. Uh, oh, patrol vehicles up to four oh. chargers and two Tahoe's. Oh, yeah. Got it. The extra space after four in the parentheses. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it anticipated, or did he, the chief say that he was going to buy a Tahoe? Well, I think that's... Yeah, that's... Uh, that's right in the CIP. That's what he used to price out the yeah. article. Yep. I guess this is a stupid question, but does that do do the voters care what kind of vehicle it is, or they do they, some do? They do. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I, I've heard yeah. comments on this already. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it better be marked. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Too. Well, I yeah. just said patr it's a patrol. It's but vision of going to patrol. People so. yeah. want to know that it's not going to be another charger. Okay. Or okay. That, I just a Bronco or something. Because again, it's just words. If it doesn't matter, but it yeah. seems like it matters. Okay. <laughs> well, the state police use Tahoe's. And they use chargers. And they use chargers, right? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of. And they don't use. They don't do class six roads for the most part. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I like watching the. Plus, um, it, plus it's between three and seven in the morning. Arizona State Police on YouTube. Her chargers kick some, you know what? Oh. <laughs> Are we good with the rest of that? The opinions, the minority felt. Jim, uh, Bill, are you okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't understand the administrative needs comment. Um, the let's see, where is that one? Oh, flexibility meet patrol. And what happens is, um, I remember the chief saying that he had. Yeah, we've got four chargers and we've got a Tahoe and we've got a uh, Explorer. But sometimes they 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 want to have enough vehicles to cover patrol because they've got one that may be in there for maintenance, they've got one that may be administrative duties going to court or don't, running something down to storage for for evidence. Yeah, but I mean the, the vehicle in use is the vehicle in use. Why do we care if it's on patrol or going to court. Well, he doesn't have enough vehicles for to cover patrol and administ administrative uh, demands. So he has the flexibility to meet patrol and administrative needs along with schedule maintenance. Period. I just think that's opening it up to, well, if it's just an administrative car, then why are we buying a $80,000 car? Why don't we buy a you know, $40,000 Yugo and let them drive to court in that? Uh, I have no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, if you want, hey. You can always use the little one with poodles painted on the side, too. Yeah, yeah. Is it patrol <laughs> and occasional? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I remember hearing that comment, too. Well, the, 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 on the it, it's a holistic thing that he's talking about. It isn't something How about, you really yeah. take apart because, you know, what he's preparing for is the emergency we never want to see. And want to have the administrative of vehicles can also be the chief's car, uh, besides the ones going to court. Uh, and the lieutenant's car, because you might have two things going on at the same time that require leadership above and beyond the about, patrol officers. How about if we just say it will give the uh, it will give flexibility. To meet patrol and department needs. Sounds good. Yeah, I was going to say strategic needs, but you can just go with needs in general. Yeah. It, it will give. Administrative. I'll take out the first department. It will general. give the. It will give. It will provide flexibility. It will provide flexibility. Very good. To meet patrol and. Just meet departmental needs. Departmental needs, right, departmental. That's good. Sometimes extra language can be And then we'll get rid of and so along with scheduled maintenance periods. I, get, I tried to get too specific there. And sometimes if I make it too specific, like Jenna says, it may Less say, why, why are we buying something for, for that? Okay. Pretty good? I, I think uh, complement should be the E version, not the I version. Um, 
uh, comp limit with infinity oh. is uh, too complete uh, as opposed to I, which is. Uh, I can I can see Miss Mrs. Baker in my English class has got me again. <laughs> okay. Anybody? Does that sound right? No, you're right. right. C O M P L E. Yeah. Got it. Okay. That was really good of you to find that compliment. I think we should compliment him. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that, if, if we compliment him, is that with an I? If we compliment you, is that that's an I though, isn't it? That's an yeah, I. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. <laughs> right. I see you know you want to raise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, double his face about uh, ten wheel dump truck. Glad you doing this, Craig. Elizabeth, we don't want to lose you down to that end. Just, if there's anything you want to add, just pipe that right up, please. Got a bracket there for some reason below there? I do. No, it doesn't. Okay. And I proofread this once. You can have a proofread your own stuff. Nobody can. Yeah. It's, it's amazing what you don't see when you just type the thing. <laughs> yeah. The last sentence, I would remove the word again, the town is used, and just, I don't know if we need to reference other articles. And what the town has done. Yeah, that's okay. all. I think yeah. I, I agree. Like you just say, the out. town has used alternative funding. Okay. And I don't think it, you need the comma in there, which will offset any tax impact. So we're going to say just the town has used alternative funding yep. from the one time Howard Block grant last year? Which will offset, yeah, and remove that comma, remove that comma. Yeah, you can get rid of that if you don't need it. <clears throat> All set? Government Building Maintenance Fund? sure about the semicolon there after the what there's a semicolon this fund currently has 200 or 29,000 semicolon okay I can put a period there or or just simply yeah. which which restores that okay. restores which you know. okay how about which for this with no with no uh, colon one currently has 29,000, which restores it to, to no. No, that's uh, wrong. Uh, no, yeah, it's the awesome. additional, oh, the additional yeah. funds. Uh, yeah, the additional funds restore it to the traditional level. Or desired level. Okay. It's just because it's traditionally been that doesn't mean yep, that's what they think it needs yep. to be. They're saying it needs to be 60K. Yep. Not just because it's always been that, so why are we doing it again? Yep. It's what they desire. So the fund currently has 29,000. How about this appropriation restores it, it to, uh, to the $60,000 level? <coughs> this appropriation restores it to? Restores the fund balance. Yeah. Near desired level. To the desired level yes okay all right yeah well if you're gonna do math it's near the desired level yeah. it's not yeah. to the desired level yeah yeah we're one thousand dollars off and that's yeah. near near it restores it near the restores it to <laughs> restores it close to <laughs> the desired level to almost but not quite <laughs> Uh, uh, not to rehash what we've talked about when we did the vote, but I, I think this is a little misleading on the minority opinion. Okay, that, well, that's what I'm looking for. Um, when 
the Board of Selectmen made their decision what to put retain in the undesignated fund balance, we didn't get a say in that. So they've already made that decision before they brought this Article 12 to us. So it's not a decision that we can undo. Okay. So the so, so it's already done. They said we're going to retain this money. Yeah. And then they said, well, we need government building maintenance. So let's take it out of the money that we already decided we were going to retain. So the minority opinion reasoning should be what? Well, it can't be used to offset this year's taxes okay. if we don't spend it on this because they've already decided what the give back was going to be. Do you want to just taxes. say, well, no, well, the four potential use actually, to that's not true. Go ahead. Because we're talking about next year's budget, next year's tax bill. So the, the funds that are available there now uh, and also whatever is okay, left then this year. to offset taxes in future years. Yeah. It could it's, be it's, it's, a, off, uh, it's off, not this year. It offset the 20... Uh, Tax offset taxes, taxes cause in 2024. Right. In 20, add in 2024 at the end of that sentence. The no. minority opinion felt the funds should remain in the undesignated fund balance. Well, it's really a, the 2023 because we sh <coughs> right now we've been taxed for 2022. Okay, our last bill of 2022. In June, we'll get a bill that is half of what we've paid this year. Mm -hmm. And that will just set there to take care of whatever the total tax bill is to 2023. So be the, the next taxes that we decide on, a 2023, even though we've already started spending it. That's why they have to keep a fund balance there, because you're actually spending before you uh, assess the taxes right I completely understand that but the Board of Selectmen in December made a decision to retain a certain amount to offset and use a certain amount to offset 2023 taxes this money is not available to offset 2023 taxes it might be available to offset 2024 taxes but they already made the decision not to use it for 2023 taxes. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. sorry, but you're really not correct. What you're talking about is the year-end uh, appropriations and uh, no. they, they encumbered certain funds, for no. example. I'm for talking about the... Um, 372,000. Yeah, the, the money that they retained and the money that they used to offset this year, 2023 taxes was 372,000. They could have said it was 3 402,000, but they didn't. They kept that 30k in there, so it will not impact 2023 taxes. The first opportunity since it's already there would be to offset 2024 taxes, not this year. I, I think I think I understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I disagree with the logic of it. That's all. I think it's, that it's well, not it's logic. Saying, I think it's fact. They can't. They can't at the end of. They can't in December of 2022 say we're going to take money to offset taxes it's next year. Right hmm? It's unaudited right now. We yeah. haven't had our audit yet. But the decision was made but, in but January. The what to give back? But there was set aside to offset taxes, right? That's what. That's the, the number. Year before we used. The only way they can impact the tax rate is by encumbering money for a special purpose that would otherwise have to be spent out of the 2023 budget. And that's what was happening at the end of the calendar year last year. They can't encumber it to offset taxes for the next year. It does, in a sense, uh, keep the spending in the 2022 year. Right. Left. And we took asking to take 30 out of it. That's going to leave 1.55, 455. We won't know what the audited amount 
is should be that, and then we'll have that maybe plus some to report back to the fall bill. Because uh, almost a million dollars of it's unpaid taxes, because I have nine hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars that's not paid to the town for taxes. So it's not cash, two receivables. Yeah. So you're saying that that nine hundred, uh, not 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 the nine hundred, the million the something would would be used for the second half of twenty twenty three tax bill offsets. They could choose to use something, yeah, because we've got okay and funds that uh, were encumbered. If they weren't all used, it ends up going back. Right. But that's all after the books are totally audited. So, so I, I believe I stand corrected that it could be used in twenty twenty three. Well, couldn't we just say future taxes? Yeah, that's fine. Sounds good. Should remain in the yes. undesignated fund balance for potential use to offset future taxes. Yeah. How's that? It's ambiguous. And we don't get into 20. No detail. Thank you all. <laughs> it's cool. We all learn something. Where did we leave off? Uh, we would cool. road, road reconstruction. Road reconstruction. Right. So on line three, I think we should remove um, from allowing roads to deteriorate to a level that requires complete tear up and reconstruction is especially costly and remove complete tear up to leave it as allowing roads to deteriorate to a level that requires reconstruction is especially costly. I'm just removing again complete tear up and just to shorten the words there. You can just say it requires reconstruction. Is that what you're yeah, it requires reconstruction is especially costly. Yeah, tear up is part of that, I think, isn't it? Yep, so remove complete tear up and. I'm sorry, you suggested take out the tear up because it, it's really included in the total yeah. reconstruction. Yeah. Take up the, so take out the three words, complete tear up is what you're yeah. suggesting. And. 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 Yeah. And. Yeah, those We've got four, words. four words. Okay, yeah. thank you. Requires reconstruction. Um, recon you, don't even, you don't even want complete in there. Complete reconstruction. Right. Well, reconstruction is. I don't, I don't know. Complete. You know, when they did the road bond, they kind of talked about when it, when you got to tear it up, and yeah, that's when it really gets costly. So, com, you know, people might think reconstruction is like putting a top coat on. You know, well, I'll just complete reconstruction is costly. Right. Well, just leave the word complete in. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Because the article says is called road reconstruction, it's not guaranteed to be. Is it? This is. Does this have to be used for roads that are torn up and rebuilt? No, no. no. no we're well, trying to prevent getting to that level. Well, on, yeah. On the majority. What, what's hap is what's happened yeah. is uh, nice Veggie's to plan, and now uh, I forgot his name. Jason. Jason. I was going to say Justin. Jason's plan is. Uh, to increase this a little each year, as you can see, that's what's happening, because it will cover that uh, save the roads uh, renovation and keep things from falling apart entirely. In, in other words, when we had the bond, this was total reconstruction money, but the, the Amount has been increased over the years to allow to do that. Uh, res that uh, I'm looking for a word here. Um, I'm saying save, save what we've got rather than having to reconstruct it. Um, so you're gonna in you're gonna probably see that increase a little bit each year because it's offset what was being used from the bond to uh, keep the yellow category roads from becoming red. Okay, I give up. <laughs> oh, 
We also don't mention the block grant. Do we need to do that? Well, I, I put it in there because just to remind people, hey, that road reconstruction got us up to where we could get our head above water, and now we're trying to maintain that before we get submerged it again. Right, but the, um, the 500, 283 of it is going to come from a block grant, New Hampshire State Highway block grant. Um, yeah, it says that right in the article. It says that in the article, right. yeah. Do yeah. we need to mention it as my... Uh, I don't think so. I think okay. voters know that. that Because the, the only thing that some of them might not know, but I don't want to, uh, is if this article isn't approved, they still get the state grant portion. But that still comes through. But okay. That, that, All right. I don't Thank even you. need to say that. New Capital Reserve Fund for Tennis Court. Uh, before we move on, mm -hmm. the, the sentence there in the middle, staying ahead of it allows the most efficient use of funds. Proving this each year does that. I, I would recommend and open to criticism that we take that sent take those two sentences out, and we'd say the uh, the provided a critical boost to extending the life of our roads uh, in good condition before costly reconstruction is required. I know it's somewhat redundant. We've already said reconstruction is costly, but I think that's, you know, where a little redundancy for emphasis would be fine. Okay, so we, we're going to take out staying ahead of it, allows and approving each year does that. Okay, and we're going to, the road reconstruction bond passed by the voters in 2000 provided a critical boost to extending the life of our roads. In good condition. Before costly reconstruction. Before costly reconstruction. Is required. Is required. Okay, got it. I can do that. Of course, if nobody likes redundancy, they can. And then you get rid of the next two sentences, yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. That's good. I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. And I'm not sure that last, uh, while pressing for the pro proposed operating budget, I know what you want to do there. Yeah, I'm kind of, I, I, I got a constant theme yeah. you know the other one we took out again I, I kind of it's kind of remind people hey you know this is being done here to knock this down a little bit this is done here to not be in order to mm -hmm. yet yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of well, it's kind of their job to do these kinds of things so it's not just to get a budget passed it's their job to to scrutinize and find, yeah. find resources yeah. so it's not just to get the budget passed. it seems to have been done at a, to a greater level this year <laughs> Well, I'm well, thankful for that. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're you're putting it here to make sure the voters understand that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. To, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, what our what our mindset was. Yeah, we're, we're trying to express why we why we yeah. passed it. Okay. Why we recommended. Yeah. It. Okay. So, anything we can do to okay help that understanding. Yes. Um, I think that's what these words are about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Tennis courts? I believe the official uh, acronym for Park and Recreation just P-A-R-C, capitalized. Okay. Yeah, it is. P-A-R-C, Park and Recreation. Instead, of, instead P of the P-N-R. P-N-R, yeah. Sounds like a grocery store. Okay, P and I got it. They're not around anymore. A and P. You just need a space before that, after three, before the parentheses. Just a. extra final period at the end of the paragraph. It just kind of floats there. <laughs> it just says for you have a period, then you get a couple of spaces, then another little period. Another period. Yeah. At, at the very end of the paragraph. The very short <laughs> sentence. Oh yeah, that, that you mean that that uh, P 
period and then two spaces in a period? Yes. Boy, you got another you got sentence. Eagle eye. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought that was dust on my Man. Oh, I, was looking at it here. Yes. I thought it was a, <laughs> I thought it was a flea. <laughs> Article 15, the revolving fund. It, it, on that last one, is there, it, the minority opinion, I, I didn't know if I captured the, the reasoning on that is, or if that was for the next one. Uh, when I was going over my notes, is that, that right. is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, we're, and, and just, uh, I'll put P-A-R-K wherever I've got, once I've identified it in the praise, I'll do that and put that in there too. P-A-R-C, right? Yeah, P-A-R-C. Okay, you said P. Yeah. yeah. P-A-R-C or P-A-R-C? P-A-R-C. No, it's not People's Park Republic of China. Park and yeah. Recreation yeah. Committee. Chairman G, PRC. No, I'm gonna, I want to. I want to. I just want to point out line one. You got PNR. Line three. You got PNR. I want to point out all of them. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. I'll put PARC <laughs> on the next this article 15 wherever I see it. Okay, I got it. You get a lot of PAR. I do. There. I do. Actually, that uh, minority opinion, uh, they'll still have to go through the Board of Selectmen to spend it. Um, yeah, it was the identification the identification of funds. of funds was what I was focused on. Yeah. Because. So I think it should just stop there to identify funds, period. Okay. Because they already have to approve it. Yeah. Or would have to approve it if, if the change goes through. If they had the revolving fund, they, they would have the funds identified potentially. This way, they, the minority opinion says, no, just go to the board of selectmen, they'll figure out where to get it and justify the need. On that, on that last sentence, I would get rid of the word would. Uh, the minority opinion supported the current process, which requires PARC to go to the board of selectmen to identify funds. Okay. Right. Got it. It's not a future thing. It, I mean, it is, but it's the current. Okay. Current process. Excuse me. Cemetery maintenance. Um. I think this one's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably town four is just Outside perfect. Outside of the balance, I pulled it up from what we sent out two years ago, <laughs> <laughs> which is what we usually do with this article. <laughs> yeah. This 17 is not perfect. There's a period missing after force on the third line. Just technicality on 16. Technicality on which one, Tom? Uh, 16, the cemetery one. Uh, it says cemetery trust to maintain. It's taking it from the cemetery trust fund Cypress account. Do we have to say that? It says cemetery trustees to maintain. Are there multiple cemetery funds or just one? Uh, there's one side prayer account. Yeah. It's got 141 in it. So that's the one. That's the one that this article will take money out. Do we need to say side prayer in it, or is it okay to just say cemetery trust? Is that confusing, or is it? Mm -hmm. The correct names on the warrant. Yeah. Is it okay for us to use the shortened version in our explanation? I think, I think, I think most people get it. It's not okay. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything other than that comma on the town forester? Or period. No. Okay, readoption of optional and all veterans tax credits. Uh, and we're covering the two articles as one here. Yeah, that's to, to emphasize to voters that it's two. It's a, 
it's a two-in-one package. If I if I listed them or comments separately, people, I, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to reinforce the point that it's all for, the two are really one. We're required to put them out as two, but they should be voted on as one together. The um, otherwise the reduction would drop to fifty dollars. Um, maybe we should explicitly state if both do not pass. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, that's the Both right. of these articles, yeah, we do say both of these articles must pass in order right, to continue. We're saying and then again. if both do yeah. not pass. If both do not pass. The reduction would drop to 50. Okay, so we take out otherwise when we said if both do not pass the reduction. If both do not pass, yep, F substituted for otherwise. Got it. Okay. Are we good on the town warrant pieces for that? Yeah. Um, just to go back real quick on Article 5, I had um, brought up initially when I sent my comments over to Bill that maybe uh, we should talk about the shortfalls in policing, not just fuel, salt, parts, trash hauling, and IT needs. Um, just wanted to bring it up here again. Um, I thought maybe we should put police in there. Bill's comment back to me was there are some people that don't believe that the police are really underfunded at all, so it's probably better to leave that out. Well, just wanted to bring it up for discussion. Also, also, when you I'm look at... I'm paraphrasing, of course. Yeah, when you look at the, the um, municipal budget summary, when it talks about it, like the 300000 be in the um, public works difference between default and proposed is the one that is right. like a mountain. When you look at police, it's it's, it's not like that much. fifty. Yeah, it's not that much. In fact, in with fire, it's I think about par. Mm -hmm. So that that's why I want to really. Uh, I think the crux of the of the big monster in the room is public works, and that's what I wanted to focus on. That's why I didn't I didn't start picking a little bit here and adding one here and adding one there. And that's mostly salt and fuel, probably. Salt, fuel, parts. Oh, other lubricants too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just wanted to mention that. I'm okay not putting it in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're good on that. Uh, we'll take a quick look at our wording on the uh, school articles. The so we're school budget. Um, one, two, three, four. Fifth line down, the 2.75. Should be 2.75, not 2 comma 75. Yeah, I did. No. I think I did change okay, that in sure the last one. Yeah, yeah the last not. last version I put out. I think okay. I I changed that. Could you had sent that? Second line. I just uh, it would result in a 10 percent increase over 21, 22. Yeah. Rather than since? Who over the we had paid that as the last time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did that last time because it, it was going to be since the 20, and then o we changed since to over. Okay. So we made that change once. We've made a change there once. If this, okay. if we want to change something again. No, no. I don't want to change it again. That's fine. I, I Maybe I'm on the, the old. printed old, out the last one. The old copy. <laughs> <clears throat> did we already change on the... Uh, Default budgets and ease the impact on taxpayers. It says on taxpayers. Did we already change that? Where is that? It's about yes. two thirds of the yes. way down. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. We cross the extra R out of district then. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I got that. Anything else on the where, uh, the educational support staff, anything? I added uh, the in bold print uh, what Janice had sent me earlier today. I changed the uh, wording there. I, 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 the formal wording in there was savings, and it's unspent salary funds from unfilled positions. <coughs> Uh, 
when I was reading through this, uh, I mean, I know what you mean by in-house uh, filling in, positions. In-house in me means uh, hi hired from within as opposed to contracting out. What's that, That's what I meant, was trying to get. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I just. It, I think you could just say fill, right? Is that where you're going? Well, in-house, it almost sounds like a transfer. Like hiring within instead of, yeah. Oh, okay. Hiring now, you're them. hiring from outside, but it's a, it's 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 an in-house position, so versus, like versus contracted. So it's it's better. It's the way I used to talk, talk about it is contract labor versus um, hire. hire. Okay. So if all positions can be direct hire, direct hire, directly hired, filled by hire. Position to complete. See, my problem is I have too many copies of these things because I had. Uh, I had some wording, but I... When I put on a new one, the best thing you can do, Tom, is use the old one as fire starter. Yeah. Probably home on the... Uh, <laughs> might need it this week. That's what I do. Dining room table. Get that wood stove going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's going to have, have a lot of fire starter when we're done. <laughs> All positions. All positions can be filled by hiring. <coughs> by hiring. By okay. Hire. Direct hire. By direct, direct hire. hire. Okay. Yeah. In-house does is misleading. Yep. There will be a reduction in subcontracted filled services. By, filled by direct hire. There will be a reduction in subcontracted services, which offset the budget increase. Okay. And then you use in-house again on the yeah, final the, line. And, yeah, so I want to get rid of that. So I want to say the key factor we weather this contract finds the, <coughs> the sweet spot. I, I didn't use Dutch boy with his finger <laughs> in the dike on it. And is <laughs> sufficient to complete, to complete the hire. Hiring. Um, to complete the hiring of all currently vacant positions. Just take out the word in house. Yeah. So the direct Should hiring. Complete the di consistent. direct, yeah. Complete the direct hiring of all currently vacant positions. So we got the word direct hiring in both and took out in house. The next thing I had on my list was what we already did. We took a look at Bill's uh, report for the uh, the introductory report. Oh, the introductory guns. report. So yeah. I think we're all set on that. Uh, yeah, even not though, everybody's had a chance to read that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll set it tonight. And I got a couple of questions on some of the numbers in your chart. I don't know if we can oh. talk about that offline. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, do it. Let's do it right now. Go ahead. Uh, I, I just don't, they don't line up with some of my numbers and I could be wrong so I thought they did when I well when I at it. no uh, your your tax impacts all line up and the totals yep. with them it's the it's the income on the 350 that I don't line up with so that column like the okay. all articles rejected yep 1604 did yep. you just uh, did you just do the 1604 in the 350 calculation or did you use, I got 273 for uh, I took um, last year's tax rate minus the uh, state and. Using 1604, right? For this year's? 16, I compared the 1604 to what the town, where, and stock total was on a tax rate from last year. Right Minus off. the county? Yeah, not, forget about the county. I, sc I screwed the pooch on that with. Okay. You took it out of both. I, I, I initially had said at a couple meetings ago, oh no, when we put our flyer out, we include the town, and which we don't, when I went back and looked at it. Okay. So. Well, last year's tax rate I have in here is 17.4. That's the that whole, that's, everything. that that includes every, like, I, I got my tax bill, okay? okay? And that's, that's what I went on. That's, that's why we're different. Then. And I said, I said, now I know the schools were combined at 12, like, uh, the town was 305 last year, the schools were 1238, state education 109, and county 88. So if you take the 1238 and the 305, you're at, 
1543. And if you take, right? Twelve thirty-eight and three hundred five school and town tax rate from last year. That's fifteen forty-three, and you take the sixteen that we got out there now, sixteen and the it's sixteen oh four minus the fifteen. The number, the other number I just said. Sixteen oh four minus fifteen forty three. The difference is sixty sixty one cents times three hundred and fifty is three hundred and fifty times point six one. Comes out to two hundred and thirteen dollars and fifty cents. So you just took the difference in the tax rates and then multiplied that through. Yep. Okay. I'm doing it differently. I'm I'm calculating the tax rate for three fifty last year and this year and just subtracting the difference, which I'm guessing is the same, but uh, what was the tax rate for last year? Fifteen forty-eight. Fifteen. 1543. Oh. So if you go 1543. To 1350. You're right. I had 1548. Okay. All right. I feel good. Okay. I just, I had the county numbers in there. You didn't. Well, I, I led you to do it yep, with the okay. county numbers in there. I wanted to set you up. <laughs> I mean, we don't, unfortunately, we don't know the county numbers. So no, we don't. And, and the, count, the county number is, and I kind of play with that, you know. The dollar twenty-seven that you had in there, I, I, I cut the cut it in half because that's the one that changed. It was one oh nine last year for the for the state ed, and the year before it was about uh, one forty-seven or something like that. In fact, I had both tax bills. That's where it brought to my uh, it ran. You get a note that says the exclude state ed. State ed and yeah, yeah, tax. yeah. See, it was a see two years. The county rate the last two years stayed 88 cents. In yeah, and I, I've heard Bob Rowe say that um, they're anticipating maintaining that this year. The dollar nine? It doesn't, or the, 88. It doesn't change. Oh, the 88, yeah. yeah. The, the one that was the wild card was the state ed was 146 two years ago, and it yeah. kind of had always, it kind of stayed the same, but it was 109 last year, and I don't know where that reduction came the from. The legislature changed the calculations. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully it stays at 109. I. It should. It should? Yeah. Okay. Pretty much the same. Okay. I mean, Good. Same majority. Good. They'll pass the same bill probably. Good. So I should have you get rid of that 127 from somewhere where I, I cut cut the cut it in half. Over no, that's okay. Down? Because it won't affect these start? numbers anyway. Because that's down. That's down. Did we, I think we went through that. Did we look at the wording for the Stark Warrant? Uh, not tonight. We didn't. We we didn't write we did. tonight, but we did before. We did before yeah. the, the split decision. The bold print is um, if we if we want to focus on the Stark article just to clean that one up. Um, I I had I, we had talked about it once before. I think can we? Yeah, I think we did, but. I just wasn't sure if, it, if there were any additions to it that we should look well, at. Well, no, no. we can look at it. Do you have any changes from anything? Nothing, nothing since the, meeting? since the last meeting when we... Okay. That's the one where, you know, I, I've said before, I, I've just got, you know, irritated over that special vote. Oh. And whenever, and, and you know, whenever I, I'm sitting at it, I'm not trying to be vindictive, but if they want to play that way, um, whenever their proposed budget and default budget is within the amount that's in that fund, I'm probably going to vote no on, on their proposed budget. Just because any year they could they could propose another article that does away with that clause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and 
Well, yeah. If it, you know what I mean? Well, I had I had no problem when they were doing it for a specific purpose. Right. Yeah. On every year, you know, yeah. like like okay, you got to pave the driveway at the middle school or, or well, something. Would, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so we have the money for it here, so we're going to reserve it so we don't have to put it in the tax bill, something like that, you know. Well, uh, the, where the voters have a say. Right. They, yeah. It's on the wall. Yeah, this one, they, yeah, you don't get a say. They, right. they, they decide on their own to say, we're going we're gonna to put this little contingency fund over here. And yeah. It's going to be capped at this, and we'll decide each year that we're going to refill and, and the pot. And it's never ending. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like... Uh, well, it, 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 it's capped, but it, it, can, it just perpetuates yeah, they, under the cap, within the cap. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, because it's approved, so I guess it's okay, but I, I do doesn't seem like it would pass legal muster because you're you're actually making a decision for future voters by making it a, a continuing resolution. Well, this, this one is, is uh, I, re I was reading somewhere where there's another school, I think it's Curse School District doing the same thing. They're putting in a, an article out there like that. It seems to be one where it catches on within the school district community to, hmm. to, to way of building contingency funds. And, and, you know, you can look at it and say, well, they're not, they're not really, they're just making sure they get enough money. Well, they're taking money that would, it has to be returned at the end of the year if it's surplus. And, and the voters are saying, well, you know, they're basically saying, you're going to play with my money rather than me having the money to play with. There's no option. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't li I don't like it, and I, I know I'm pretty this one's, this stubborn one's a on this one. a longer than all the other ones. Do we have any space considerations on this? No, not on this one because it's the only article that, that. No, I mean on the handout itself. Like, are you limited to, like, do we have to keep the blurbs under a certain size? Not that I'm advocating. <laughs> haven't, haven't in the past, but I haven't got it up to War and Peace length yet. So we had to go back and look at the word count on each. <laughs> <laughs> no, and whatever, um, whatever you put out, I've always put in. Mm. Whether the mailer is 20 pages or 24 pages, it has to be divisible by four. One thing for future years. Uh, uh, you don't have to repeat anything that's already in the warrant article. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. You know. uh, just a reminder, final, see you on uh, Saturday morning at uh, 9 o'clock. Just warmly. Are we going to go yeah. through the thing that he typed up? That you have in front the of report? you? Oh. Yeah. Are we going to go through that? Well, you... Oh, the numbers? No, the report no, itself. I'm okay with the numbers. The first page, basically, right? The statement? Oh, yeah. this statement? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had a chance, so... I'm, I'm reading Oh, you're looking at it now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still... It seemed like I was the only one that hadn't read it, so... Well, I put it no, out pretty I, late. I, I put it out late. Oh, I put okay. it out mid-afternoon oh. before I was headed to do this. I'm okay. Oh, is this your last meeting? Yeah. So unless we reconvene after deliberative, right? Yeah, at the deliberative. Oh, we could be, if, if there are changes made. <coughs> are we allowed to do that? Because it wouldn't be a you publicly. One, you've got time for one more if you're heading to deliberative. Well, are we yeah, allowed to? Next week we've got. We have to announce it. No, I'm just saying you've got Saturday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right? Yeah. Yep. That That's meeting? right. That's right. That's when the school. Saturday's town, Wednesday's. Where, where Friday, Friday is start. start. That next week, I have to get to the printer by the 17th, which is Friday. Oh, okay. You technically could meet two Tuesday or Wednesday, and you're just good. You have to do 24 then, hours notice? Yeah. Any other public meeting, right? Right. And I don't know if you, I mean, want to get together and finalize everything. Or I'm just offering that to you because I am... Um, I, I'm emailing it, so I mean, I what I do is I put mine together, and then I save room for you guys, and then I have to make it divisible by four. So I usually crunch and. Well, I think I like to attempt to just get it done on Saturday morning after the meeting. Uh, we have to announce that we're having the meeting. No, I'm because it's already meeting. posted. We're posted for that day on our schedule of meetings. It's posted for all three meetings. Yeah. yeah. For all three of the deliberative. It says town deliberative, but does that right. mean it's a meeting of ours? Like a finance committee will, will be meeting? It's yeah, on you a. Guys are, it's posted as your meeting. You guys are meeting just like the select are meeting. It was on that meeting sheet, right? It's on that meeting sheet. That's okay. why I went out to see if you had what you had posted up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Um, if if we can't do it, then you know. But well, if we could Tuesday is is that library meeting, which I would really like to go to, yeah. uh, both as a if, citizen if, and as a newspaper reporter. Well, if nothing changes, I mean, we can read we can read through this if, if people have read it or or are reading it. And it would be helpful if you have another copy for me to look at paper. I think it does a good job of, of, of uh, explaining the possibilities as far as... You started doing that last year. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Where, where the different funds could come into... Yeah, balance. we hadn't done that before last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it... Because... Because it avoids the sticker shock of, oh my goodness, it's six hundred dollar increase in my taxes, you know, eleven percent, and the percent, the percentages there are really in the, um, the tax rate. Uh, but if, when you start explaining that, hey, that's the worst case scenario. Yeah. There are offsets. It'll fall somewhere under that. You it's know, not. but I wanted to also this year put in there, hey, last year. Yeah. We weren't off. It's just that the rep, the, the, the offset came in a million dollars over what it normally does. <clears throat> and that's why instead of getting a $350 increase, which would have been projected with the normal return, it was like 600 or 700 something if you had nothing coming back. And then we said, to normally you're going to get the, the, this amount to offset it by three. We're going to back in the 300 and some dollar range on a $350,000 house. And your taxes actually only went up about seventy on a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar property. But the reason for that is because you got the extra million to offset the tax rate. So I wanted people to know that, so that when they get hit this year, they, they aren't surprised. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when the and what, whether these words are the best way to convey that is certainly open to, to you know discussion. It's going to take a couple of years for things to smooth out after all the COVID. federal funding. Yeah, COVID. That's yeah. coming in. Yeah, that, yeah, that's why I threw COVID in there. That's, it's kind of an outlier. So, 9 o'clock on Saturday, uh, 7 o'clock, the deliberative, what was a 6.30 meeting of the board of yeah. uh, we have school district on Wednesday. And uh, same thing, 6 o'clock for the uh, John Stark school board meeting followed by uh, 7 o'clock for the <coughs> deliberative. So good to get there someplace in, in the middle. Uh, usually they just pause their meeting and go back to it because John Stark, for example, then look at one article. It's like... It's going to be a quickie. I mean, even when they had the public hearing, yeah. when they had the public hearing, I was doing this and I came back, everybody's already coming out. <laughs> That's how quick it was. <laughs> but I did run into Frank Campana, so I, I had about <laughs> a chance to talk with Frank for about 20 minutes. But, but it, so unless we do it now, we're going to have yeah. to meet to finalize this after deliberate then, right? Yeah. Well, we can do it now. Well, you can yeah. look at if there's something that doesn't make sense to you. Yeah, and we can, we, can, we, can do, yeah. we can kind of wordsmith it a little bit now. It might make it easier. Yeah. Uh, after deliberative. You ready, Tom? Um, you got something? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Uh, just in the second paragraph, uh, the Finance Committee had no recommend. I would make that a new paragraph, by the way. Uh, I agree. The Finance Committee has no recommendation on a Stark budget with a 4 4 vote. That's, that should be a new paragraph, I think. Uh, uh, where, where are we? The. Effect tax rates right here. Oh, right here. Right here. Yeah. Okay. The so new pair right there. Therefore, if voters follow these recommendations uh, and further support the Stark budget, the interest rate will be 11, 17. The Stark budget is voted down and the impact is 10. Okay, I get that. The, the 585-546. Yep. Um, that goes to notes one and two. A property assessed at 550000 could see an increase of... Okay, that matches your numbers below. Okay. Um, yeah. 
I thought they didn't match for a second. Okay. Okay, third paragraph. Uh, that, that's fine. I just had a question on that, but it, you answered it. While this will represent a considerable increase, it's noted that the town schools have conserved revenues this year. A lot of it's, uh, you know, some of this is boilerplate that I used yeah. last year no, it read yeah. with time. different numbers okay. for this year. Uh, what's now the second paragraph, the yep. second line? Yep. Therefore, if I think you should take out the therefore. Second, uh, second paragraph. Therefore, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? No, oh, up here. What will be the second? Uh, the yeah. second. Okay. What will be that? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On that same answer. line, uh, uh, Bill. Therefore, we're going to take out. So just take out the therefore. Yes. Okay. Got it. O on the same line, I, I would suggest uh, instead of the word further, you put also. The voters fo follow these recommendations and also support this okay. stock budget. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or additionally, yep. also or additionally, yep. Yep. also. Support. Okay, got it. What's now the third paragraph? Yep. Yeah. Um, you have also any surplus in both school budgets automatically is returned to reduce taxes. Yeah. That's not true for John Stark. Exactly. Right? Correct. Uh, well, as long as they're under the cap. Uh, right. It's not, it's whatever they choose to not retain is returned or cannot well, retain because they've met the cap. Um, oh, you're talking about the, the special, the special yeah, article. Fun, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I know it's a question. When I was line. saying surplus, I, I'm saying that's a given. They're going to do that. So whatever this, after they do that, the surplus, um, how, how do we do that surplus without getting, surplus is not a surplus. Well, if you they could keep say it too, any, any money's not, Used or spent or retained could could return to reduce taxes, but it's not absolute for schools. Yeah, I don't think you need to change it because the surplus is after they do what they after they do. do what they're going to do. Uh -huh. But if we, you know, if we want to beat that dead horse, I don't, you know, I don't have a problem because I I've been beating so that dead horse. <laughs> Sure. I don't mind. I don't mind, I don't mind another <laughs> whack. <laughs> I know we're on camera, but I, I don't care. <laughs> um, it's fine the way it reads. You think so? I, I, yeah, I, I think so. If you, yeah, define if you define that surplus that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, not then, including last year. Comma, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Got it. Previous five year average of funds returning to the taxes. One one three eight four nine three space. Okay. Got it. And I would say was, not is. It, it was one point one million. Was yep. Got it. Yeah, we'll start. Although there could be no guarantee the amount to be returned, using these average returns could reduce the property, reduce the below projected tax impact by a dollar space three twelve. Yeah. How I got the 312, I took the 1.1, 1 .1, 38493 over the the NAV, the one which is 1282, yeah. 284, and took that percentage on a dollar. It turns out to be, uh, whatever it is, uh, 90 cents times uh, 350 is, uh, 312 is how I come up with that. Okay. If I at the very end where you have a uh, dollar nine and yep. 88 cents yep. there's a comma instead of a period for the yeah, zero, zero eight where have eight. i got that yeah. oh yeah yeah got it i need to get better lighting around my computer so i hit the right <laughs> button there they're right next to each other on there too <laughs> you can zoom in yeah, mine's the same way yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, note one, 1698 should have a dollar sign in front of it. Where are we 
got no one. Uh, yep, it sure yeah. should. Yep. Chapter 546 on the next line of space. Yep. Okay. the person who walks into the voting booth and reads this for the first time. Yeah. Something that you have to read ahead of. Yeah. You shouldn't be there if that's what Well, yeah, <laughs> it happens, but I know. <laughs> it's a lot to a lot to uh, consume it, it right as you're going. Oh, this it, comes it out. Is. It's a lot to consume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it comes the mail comes out quite a bit before. Right. Yeah. 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 Which I Did just hope our work isn't all for naught if somebody sends out a last minute mailer that destroys everything. I think the, well, the man, the man a few words has some words for us here. I, well, you, you may have caught it, I, and I, I may not have heard it, but at the, we're, we're talking about the reduced taxes of 1.138, and then you had the parentheses in, you know, then town portion is 245. Yep. You have a, a space between the 493 and the parentheses for town. And then a dollar sign in front of the 245. Yeah, I got I got no dollar sign in front of town, so that should well, be there. Now so I've got give me the space in front of town, right? Yeah, before the parentheses. Yeah, right there. He got it. I do have a I, yeah. There is a space yeah, that was mentioned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, okay. He okay. slipped that one to me under the table. And then after town for for the 245, did you have a dollar sign there? I just added the dollar sign, okay. yeah, because I, I actually <clears throat> just saw that when, right when we started talking in the vicinity there. And then um, second page, if our articles pass, the last column, 602 space. Yep. Make sure you get spaces before all those parentheses. Yep. Percentages. Yep. Um, same thing in note one, 546 space. 10.05. Oh, it's a comma, yeah. And yep. a line above it, uh, 1698 should have a dollar sign in front of it. Yeah, I, got, I did get yeah. that. Okay. Yep. And then I'm assuming we don't want them in the table, that the numbers are okay, just on the last column you wanted them? On the rates? Yeah, okay. in the table. Yeah. I yeah, I, well that, that's why the, the, you, we, where I've got notes written in the last column. Is that what you're saying? No. No, 286, East 807, East. none of those have dollars. dollars. Well, that's why I put the dollar up there. Right. Yeah, tax rates with oh, a dollar yeah, sign you up have top. That in the header. Yeah. At this point on Saturday, unless there's a change in a warrant article, uh, I mean, only the changes in the war article are th things that we'd have to address in a meeting on Saturday, uh, because I think we're all set on everything else. But I just assume not have another meeting during the week if we can avoid it. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. What are the chances things will change, or is that a dumb question? Because it's a wild card. It's a yeah. You yeah. just it's don't know. Those. We have had some strange things happen over the years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of them are reoccurring, and, you know, things like the the dump truck and the fire equipment that's paid for through the fund. People aren't going it, to... It's... They get hung up on some little article that probably isn't even as costly, and it becomes a major uh, uh, focal yeah. point of the meeting sometimes, so... But hopefully not. Um, and you're doing all the speaking for the finance committee. Traditionally, the the uh, chair has basically used the verbiage from our meeting. And uh, okay. if he has to take a recess, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll send out a clean copy of all this before Saturday. I certainly will. Okay. I've got so much on my. Yeah. And then I can give them all to somebody on Saturday. I'll give you three different colors. That's like I always done. For the schools and the For two different schools, I use a different great. color. That'll be great. I'll, I'll get them to you tomorrow. I, I'm, I'm gonna tomorrow. make ours. Yep, I'll, I'll have them out. Th th these I, I will have out the tomorrow. Because. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Just because the meeting Saturday, so I don't have. I don't. I'm not doing any of this tomorrow. So. Tom. Are you good? Do you want to yeah. uh, just good? remind everybody about how they you good? if they want to speak to another party? You good, Liz? Look themselves. like they're packing up. You good? <laughs> she got her hat on. <laughs> James just reminded me that. Uh, Anybody can speak to an article, obviously. Yeah. However, don't identify yourself as I did one year as a member of the finance committee. Uh, and you got the you got all the all the school people cheered for you, <laughs> <laughs> and we all we all gave you booze. <laughs> <laughs> and that isn't the that isn't the kind you go yeah, home for. <laughs> it's just the phrasing, you know. It wasn't yeah, I, well, it was you against know. you guys, yeah. us guys. <laughs> You good, James? So, uh, you know, certainly you're all free to speak, but don't speak as a finance committee member because we've already made our recommendations. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you just said uh, speaking as an individual, not a yeah. member of the finance committee. That's the way we did it when we spoke yeah. at the um, right. working sessions. Right. So. Yep. Thank you, James. Yeah, you can't speak for the finance committee unless we have a quorum and we voted on something. All right. Yeah. Are good? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. And I'm sure all are in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I think we accomplished a lot of two-hour time period. Perhaps.